Hey guys, welcome to another video. Just a quick one for you today. Uh, DJI released a new firmware update for our Mavic Air 2S drone. So this puts us up to version 02.04.16.90. There's nothing major in this update aside uh, from some quality of life fixes and just some improvements with some of the technology that's in this drone. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. So the first thing that they have done is they've optimized the DJI AirSense. And if you're unfamiliar what AirSense is, it's just a way for the drone to communicate with you if there is another aircraft nearby. If you're a beginner pilot or just a pilot in general, I would highly recommend that you keep this system on because it will notify you if there's another aircraft nearby. So again, they've made some improvements to that. Um, so hopefully it should work a little bit better, probably detect aircraft a little bit sooner and notify you a little bit more accurately. The next thing is, is they've optimized environment light detection and warning prompts. So this is essentially just improvements for the sensors with lower light detection and more accurate warning prompts. So this means the drone should be able to handle more accurately in lower light scenarios. Of course, if things are pitch black, then the drone's not gonna function properly at all. But like other Mavic uh, drones, the Mavic Air 2S has an auxiliary light on the bottom that if lighting gets too low, when the drone is below 15 feet, that light will kick on to help uh, the vision sensor. So again, nothing major as far as this update is concerned. Hopefully this is paving the way for some awesome uh, feature updates that they may plan on here soon. And they're just kind of getting some of the bug fixes out of the way before releasing those things. So far I've gone through all three batteries. Everything performed nominally. It was perfect. Uh, I didn't run into any signal interference issues and I live in a highly interference area in an urban area that I was able to fly this thing pretty far away, about a couple miles, and had about four out of the five bars. So everything worked there. The drone was rock solid, stability, the imaging, just the overall handling, everything was expected even after a firmware update, so that's a good sign. If you are having issues and uh, you will want to probably remove the app and then re-download it, so if you're on Android, you will need to download it from DJI's website. It's not on the App Store or the Play Store right now, and I will link that in the video description. If you are on an iOS, you can download a fresh copy from the iOS or the Play Store and uh, see if that resolves some of your issues. So aside from that, that is the uh, gist of today's video. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you liked it, you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Thank you guys all so much for what you do. Thank you guys for your support. And if you want to support us in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We got a lot of cool merch over there that you can check out. So in any case, thanks again, and we will see you on the next one. Happy flying. Give me